Having a bad day at work, the problem might not be your bossy coworker or crabby customer, but what you didn't do in bed last night. A new series of studies says that a lack of sleep can affect your business. Anne Garrity, founder of OrganicDivas.com, an online retailer of non-toxic lotion, soaps, and cosmetics, tells us how her sleepless nights are resulting in unproductive days. Well, I think as a small business owner, you have to wear a lot of hats and you have a lot of different roles. And when you're running on empty and lack of sleep and exhausted, you're doing everything at you know half mast. What kind of sleep problems are you having? Or waking up in the middle of the night and not being able to go back to sleep. What's keeping you up at night? Well, I think what's most concerning to me, what's keeping me up, is the fact that um, everything that I've ever made to this point in my life is on the line. So. Yeah. It's about things that I anticipate that might happen. It's about fears about things that might happen. It's about, you know, real day customer issues that I have during the day. It's all those things. It's, you know, a thousand thoughts a minute. Garrity says that because of those thousand thoughts a minute, she sleeps only four to five hours a night. Do you find that your thinking gets cloudy when you haven't had enough sleep? Oh yeah, it's very hard to concentrate and to focus and to keep, you know, your thoughts collected. Garrity's lack of sleep has gotten so bad that she recently was scheduled to give a presentation to 100 people and forgot her notes and materials at home and had to wing it. She says she sometimes snaps at vendors who miss a shipment date and loses her temper faster than normal when she's exhausted. Her biggest concern? That if things keep going on this way, she's going to totally burn out. Dr. Elizabeth Lombardo, a stress expert and author of A Happy You, says that what Garrity experiences is common among chronically sleepy business people. Recent research shows us that there's a huge connection between lack of sleep and productivity. And in fact, 47% of workers say that their productivity has been affected because of a lack of sleep. When we're tired, it takes us a lot longer to do the things that we want to do. To Dr. Lombardo's point, studies from the National Sleep Foundation and the National Commission on Sleep Disorders estimate that sleep deprivation costs between 92 to 107 billion a year in medical expenses and reduced workplace productivity. But beyond that, the cost in lives and human suffering is significant, with signs that such disasters as Chernobyl, the Exxon Valdez oil spill, and the Challenger explosion all were caused in part by key personnel not getting enough sleep. And each year, thousands of people die and are injured on the nation's roadways and in workplaces because of drowsiness or fatigue. So what can business owners and their employees do to combat this serious problem? First, avoid what Garrity does, working on her computer late in the evening and checking her email and phone messages in the middle of the night. Watching TV and working on the computer significantly impacts our sleep. A lot of times we think for the computer, oh, I'll just do this one more thing. The lights on the computer or the TV are actually exciting our nervous system. There's something biologically going on. And when our nervous system is excited, when it's in a stress mode, when, when it's agitated, that's when we're not sleeping. According to the National Sleep Foundation, 75% of Americans have trouble falling asleep at least a few nights a week. But the experts say a good night's rest is only a few techniques away. First is turn it off. Turn off the iPhone, turn off your computer, turn off, turn off the television at least 30 minutes beforehand. Second, watch what you eat. And I'm not talking about right before bed, I'm talking about in the afternoon and evening too. So stay away from the caffeine. Alcohol, it's not gonna help you. It helps you fall asleep, but it won't help you stay asleep. The third thing is develop a wind down routine. Whatever it is, develop a ritual that cues your mind and your body that it's time to go to sleep. Another thing is make sure that your room and your environment is conducive to sleeping. Make sure it's dark and quiet and comfortable. For many, these techniques will be enough to solve the problem. Those, however, who need additional help should visit the National Sleep Foundation's website. So the next time you feel a sleepless night coming on, turn off the TV, turn on the soft music, turn down the lights, and sleep. The stuff that dreams and good business are made of. Yeah.